Howdy, howdy, folks. A train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from Render Cube Games and Toplets Productions. We'll welcome you back to the channel. Hope you'll enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know we go live, upload a video, and support us on Discord and pay, uh, PayPal. There's links in the description below. So we are in the throes of winter, and we are all bundled up. Notice we are at 100% heat, uh, cold protection. We're in the green zone. We're comfy. Stomach's full. We're hydrated. We're clean and all that good stuff here. Uh, we are in the house in the house house, as in our house, in the middle of our street. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we have a knuckle sandwich to go deliver. We had to get through to the next morning. It's 0706, so people should be waking up. And we're going to go provide a little surprise to uh, Unigost. It is, um, well, 0.1 degrees Celsius, which means it's freezing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's chilling. All right. So here we are, and here we go. Let's head out. Let's check our trap thing. All right, we got a new trap there. Isn't it pretty? Hear the sound of us walking in the snow? That's awesome. Oh, hey, let's clean some stuff up here real quick. Some steak and some stone. Let's run this up. Let's not run into the tree. Let's run this up here and put it away. I didn't realize I was sitting there. I thought I cleaned up the other day. All right, we got stones. Kind of neatly piled over here. Let's start another row-ish. And we'll go in our inventory and swing down here to stone. 20 stones in a stack, I think, is a good number. Actually, F, doink. 20 stones in a stack. All right, there's 20, there's 40, 60, 80. All right, there's 12 there. 100, 110, 132 stones. All right? But each stone is a kilogram, I believe. So that will add to your weight very quickly. Now, steaks are one tenth of a kilogram. See, so 120 steak, 12 kilograms. All right, we're going to drop this here. X E F, boom, boom. There's our steak. We got lots of steak. We got a basket we recovered from the uh, schlubs we found camping out kind of in our territory down the way there. Anyway, so let's. Uh, so you look at the top of the screen, first off, there's a blue indicator. That's where we've put uh, our waypoint on the map by double clicking. So we can double click over here, or we can double click over here, or you can hit F to remove waypoint and F to set waypoint, depending on where your mouse is pointing. Okay, so, so it moves around the map like that. Okay, um, so we'll turn that off for now. But we are going to Gustovia because see, there's exclamation points, which are like friendly quests. And then there's this one with the little stars around it, the look at me, look at me one. That's your quest target. So in your journal, see if we do Alwyn's story, see how the quest target moved to Alwyn? Okay, and it says untrack quest. If you track quest, it turns that on on the map. So then you know where to find your quest target. Now Alwyn, the thing is, Alwyn's not active at the moment. We don't have to mess with him until next summer. So... We're going to go back to Unigost. We're going to track him, go to the map, and there he is. Let's go say hello. Say hello to my new friend. I know it's say hello to my little friend. I didn't want there to be any potential problem with copyright infringement or anything like that. I, I, why did we stop? Hello, sir. Good morning. Top of the morning to you, mate. Laddie. All right, let's uh, let's slow down here for a second. I'm gonna reach over. Oh, nope, that cleared itself up. Okay, cool. All right, Unigost, where are you hanging out? Do 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 do. Is he ooting the boot? Look out, kid. Unigost. Hello. There's his wife. If she's up, he's up. <clears throat> there he is. He just walked out. And he just walked back in. So we're going to do this behind closed doors because we do not want to embarrass him in public. Oh, what do we think? Was he sweet 
like a jar of honey or he was the most terrifying person I've ever met. I don't know if he was the most terrifying. Uh, <clears throat> how do you know I didn't? You're here. He did tell me about my uncle, though, the story about the Lord of the Orchards. He has some unexpected good storytelling skills, doesn't he? Yes, he really does. I was downright astonished by that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Excuse me. One time, this one time at band camp, I swear he went for over a year without speaking a single word, but when we were sitting by the fire, he remembered some anecdote. Laughing out loud and began his tale, went from a total mute to the master of ceremonies. Narration, the narrative was so gripping, it was hard not to listen. He even did voices, but after finishing, he became silent again. I've never fully understood that side of him. A theater genius trapped in the body of a bear wrestler. He actually asked me to give you something. Really? And what is that? A knuckle sandwich. Yeah, it sounds exactly like Sambor. So are you going to deliver? Ah, uh, do you want me to? Can't. Uh, do you want me to? Oh, sure. I love people punching me in the face around the valley. I'm known for it. Would you be so kind to do it for free, though? I'm all out of my being punched in the face budget. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't. Samber just likes to say crap like that. But if he asks, <clears throat> I'll tell him, tell him you knock me out cold, just out of curiosity. That's why you do this behind closed doors, people. See, nobody saw it. Nobody saw what did or didn't happen. What, is, what did Sambor tell you about him becoming a part of the pack? He said that you were looking for the best to recruit, and he was an obvious choice. Yeah, it seems like something he would say. Isn't that the truth? It's not a pleasant memory. But I believe you deserve to know the whole story. We didn't recruit him. Well, I guess we did. Eordan did. But that wasn't a matter of choice. When Eordan and I started to follow his mission together, we were rather successful. Everything was going as smoothly. Too easy, even. We were doing a lot of good, putting many well-deserved smiles on oppressed faces. That's when we let our guard down. Dun, dun, dun. We let our guard down. The secret... There was a secret guild formed by a few of the higher-ranking knights and barons. We called them the Vendors. Can we get chips or candy bars in that? A uh, bunch of really heartless ba bastards. Bastages. Uh, their most lucrative business was selling a living merchandise. And no, I'm not talking about animals. Please don't say it. Slavery was strictly forbidden in the, that realm. The queen was adamant about that. Well, the vendors had their own set of rules to follow. They caged them like cattle, mostly women and children forced to fight rats for the poor little rations they were being given in the damp dungeon they were held in. The guild preferred quantity over quality, so they didn't care about diseases and they didn't tend to wounds. They think I'm going to be sick. Sometimes it took weeks to get the dead out of the cages, survival of the fittest, or rather outlasting of the least fortunate. It was simply horrible. If you ask me, all the damned guild deserved a cruel and slow death, but that wasn't how we operated. Jordan made it very clear from day one. We were never going, never to take a life. That was the most important of rules. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this guy sounded like, you know, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Uh, anyway, we managed to get everyone out. The carriage is full of broken people. Even the horses kept their heads low, mourning. The despair in the air was even more poisonous than the stench of the rotting flesh. All And in all of that, we forgot to make ourselves safe as well. We were caught by the mercenaries who brought us to the torture chamber. Yeah, this gruesome place had an even worse room hidden inside. Unbelievable. The vendors weren't in a patient mood, so they sent their worst torture right away. I was horror struck, truly petrified, could barely breathe. Jordan didn't say a word, just looked at me. His eyes were relaxed but focused. I realized he wanted me to be calm as well, but I just couldn't. He went first. The torture strapped the Orden to a chair and just started swinging. His fists were like anvils. Every hit drew blood or broke bones. In a matter of seconds, the Orden's face looked like bloody pulp. Jesus, these stories are just long. The only thing poking through it was his smile. One of the many times I wonder if he was even human. Torture quickly realized that he needed different tools for such a unique specimen and went to grab his blades. That's when the Orden started talking. He was making him offers, one after another, but the torturer just kept carving his torso. Like he was preparing a steak to be grilled. There was so much blood I could taste it in my mouth. I wanted to pass out just to run away from all that blah, 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 blah. Suddenly he stopped, looked at me and back at Jordan. This was the only thing he said. If you're lying, you're going to watch me do the same to him. I was about to puke, but Jordan just nodded. So he untied both of us and helped us escape. There were more mercenaries on our way, heavily armed. No one stopped us. Even they were terrified of that guy. We managed to get out in one piece. Well... We managed to get out alive. 
Jordan wounds wouldn't heal for weeks, and even after that, he was scarred so badly it looked like he had a chain mail stitched to his skin. But we escaped to death, and its emissaries became one. Its emissary became one of us. The torturer. It was Sambor, wasn't it? Yes. Now I understand. Okay, no words. Sorry that happened. Nah. Now I understand why you didn't want to tell me the truth. It sounds horrible. Well, it's nightmares of that night. It never stopped. How could you want a person like that amongst your troop? You think I wanted that cutthroat anywhere near me? I couldn't get a wink of sleep with him around for days. I was constantly watching my back, watching his every move. So why didn't you blow him off? That's simple. You ordered me to deal with him. Promised him the only thing that mattered to that brute, which was money. A whole lot more than what the guild was paying him and a cut from every heist that we did. But couldn't you just pay him off or run away? That's not the way he ordered and did things. He was a master liar, but when he gave someone his word for real, he never backed down. Besides, we later found out Sambor wasn't evil in his nature. He was just a true soldier. Did what they was asked of him. You were going to spend hours talking with him, explaining our rules of conduct. Sambor never broke any of them. Not once. That's incredible. Your lives. I mean, don't you think I would... I don't think I'd be able to handle all of that. Honestly, I hope you never have to. I've been through a lot. After all these years, the thing I would wish you the most is to have a boring, steady life. Compared to your stories, Bori sounds, sure sounds pleasant. Uh, there's always something to do. Glad to hear that. Then my next request won't be boring you at all. Sure thing. What do you need? I need you to go to Borowo, find Ida, and get my scythe back from her. Uh, well, that sounds perfectly dull. Ha, ha, ha. Gaze the scythe. It's, it's sharp. <clears throat> consider it done uh no you need it for the you know uh let's just go with consider it done i want to end this conversation all right so now we just gotta go back across the the river here borrow is just across the street okay chapter four into the wilderness construct buildings a hunting lodge okay that's new oh hey okay. but wait there's more quests Oh, hey, quest completed. Chapter three. Good morning, my neighbors. Fantastic. Hey. But wait, there's more. <clears throat> Anything else? Well, new level diplomacy. Okay, now diplomacy could be interesting. Let's hold up for a second. Skills, diplomacy. Now, tier one, you got diplom diplomacy knowledge, which adds to your experience which logically would be the first thing to do then you got diplomat which means you get more dynasty rep points i haven't actually looked at this before so i'm reading this for the first time like you are unless you've played the game before then you got romeo hey you get more affection while flirting then you go to empathy now empathy apparently is a very important one then you have barter those are the level twos and inspiring speech five percent faster production done by npcs Hand of the King, 25% chance to get away with losing King's reputation after failing his challenges. Good host, 10% slower mood reduction. Creative accounting, 10% lower taxes. Castellan, 10% lower demand for food, water, food, wood, and water by the villagers. Uh, that's nice. But notice, well, okay, we've just started doing quests. So, yeah, we're not racking up a whole lot of points here like when we were cutting down trees and eating our lunch, just like our old papa. <clears throat> so... Uh, we are going to definitely put this right here in knowledge because we want to gain these points faster so we can start building out these other things. Oh, we get two of these. All right, level three of three. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, we close that one out. Super. So now we'll get 15% uh, more experience gain from diplomatic activities, and then we'll be able to move on to a tier two if we want. Um Actually, Diplomat sounds pretty good because you get more Dynasty reputation points. But Empathy is good for your flirting, as is Romeo and uh, what have you. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so we need to head over to Borowo. And there's our quest target 90 meters ahead of us. Hello? Move. Thank you. Just put new batteries in the keyboard. Or I should say fresh batteries. Hello. Unplug these, actually. I got these... um pale blue rechargeable batteries lithium 
batteries. So you may check those out. So I just recharged the triple A's that were in my keyboard and uh, got another set of them put in there. Wait, did I just run past the entrance? Here we are. Do, 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 do. I think the person we need to talk to is right here. Ida, hi. I'm here for Unigas Slime. Take a hike, kid. I want it fair and square. One. Ha, huh, that little snake didn't even tell you about that. Did it? Huh, that figures. <clears throat> I don't know what you mean. I, you only wanted me to get a Sid back. Is it Scythe or Sid? It's my Sid now. Oh, someone's sick. Dude. You want to put a mask on over there? Okay, okay, relax. What can I do to get your Sid then? You can buy it from me, of course, or we could play for it. How much for the Sid? You know, I could buy it. 450. What's the game? The same that Unigost made you. Ah, the game of riddles. Uh oh. Simple. I tell you three riddles. You must answer them all correctly. One mistake, the game is over. You win, you get the Sid. And if I lose, I'll go easier on you this time. If you lose, you don't owe me anything. You just forfeit the chance of getting the Sid for free. You know what? I got so much cash. Here, take 450. Okay, we got plus 50. Now we're taking the sit. I just don't want to fart around with her. Riddles and me. Eh. Oh my gosh, that sound is so good. That sounds just like running through snow. Dashing through the snow. Um, I would say in a one horse open sleigh, but I don't have an open sleigh. Dashing through the snow, as in the game we play, over the bridge we go, jogging all the way. Got a Sid to bring to Unigas Delight. What fun it is to finish a quest on Medieval Dynasty tonight. Hey, there you go, folks. That's how you do that. I may not be up for riddles, but I can run my off. Yeah. I'm back already, bro. Sup? Tell me. Maya left it. Yeah, tiny, de tiny detail. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Sambor is looking for you. No. Oh, does this mean we got... Oh, you know what? He probably wants his clay that we never gave him. Because we were busy talking to him. How, uh... Jeez, it's afternoon already. Oh my gosh, we're going to be running back and forth. Running, running, running like a constipated wiener dog. What does that have to do with anything, eh, Train? Listen to Weird Al Yankovic's song, Albuquerque. And you will understand... Okay, so we're back by the house. Should we take, nah, you know what? We don't have to worry about it. Either way, we don't got to worry about it because I off the wolves, right? Now, we are going to go into armed mode here. <clears throat> so let's go see what Knucklehead wants. That's a steak. I thought maybe that was a plank. So he doesn't talk to Sambor, but Sambor got him a message. What did he do? Send a carrier pigeon or something? What's up with that? Dashing through the snow On a bright and sunny day Over the fields we go Heading Sambor's way Got my bow in hand, gripping it tight. If something rears its ugly hand, I'll knock it out of sight. Hey! J 
Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. What's up, bird? You get a reprieve today. I'm not here to, not here to mess with you. All the animals of the forest. Yes, it is your hero. I have returned. Of course, now there could be a bigger wolf pack waiting for me. Say, ha ha, watch this, human. Chomp a chomp a chewy chewy chomp. Yeah, see, notice we're not getting any indication of wolves. Is that a bird? Was. Nice and quiet. You know why? Because I killed the wolves. That's why. Said, here, Mr. Wolf. See this arrow? In your face! Oh, there he is. All right, bird, you get the love. What's up? Took you so long. Well, easy. What are you talking about? You need to kill it. Kill what? Blasted owl, of course. Can't you hear it? That's not an owl. Damn bird! It hoots, it hoots, it hoots. I want dead. Can't you deal with it yourself? I I don't hunt anymore. You literally live in a hunter's lodge. Duh. You built this place. A hunter died a while ago. And I just took it. Bloody owl showed up. Don't mind me asking. Do you buy your eat meat now? I don't see you keeping any animals. Listen to me, you little brat. I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, I did hear the owl. I hear wolves, though. Make you shut up. No, I don't buy meat lately. I tend to eat mostly vegetables and grains. Exactly what my food eats. Ha! You're so annoying. Side. In my life, I did some things bad links. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we're going to skip through this. Just give me... Find the owl. Okay, I hear deer. Well, where's the owl? Crap, I was looking at the end. Yeah, I'm listening for the sound cues. Wait a minute, look here. Oh, you know what these are? These are guilt trips. These are guilt trips. These are hand-carved reindeer or deer. Why are they why are they guilt trips, A Train? Remember the story? He did stuff with imprisoning kids. This is the guy. Go away, I'm working. Yeah, Al, it's none of your business. I'd leave if I were you. 
I'd be sent to kill this noisy owl. Yeah, earning the easiest coins in my life. That's all that matters to me. Are you trying to threaten me? Very, very careful. Your next words, not at all. It's not me you should be afraid of, but my employer. Who's that supposed to be? Sambor. Well, I don't know any Sam. Wait, did you say Sambor? That's right. Listen, man, I, I, I don't want any trouble. No, listen, no. Now all of a sudden he don't want any trouble. Huh? I was hired to come in here from time to time and pretend to be an owl. I had no idea I was crossing your boss. I'll leave and never come back. Please just let me be. <sighs> Sambor is pissed. Let me go. I'm begging you, whatever. First of all, tell me who hired you. It was Walrad. He lives in a place called Tootkey. That's all I know. I swear. That's what they always say. That's all I know. I swear. Dang, don't hurt me. Okay, but I might try to convince Sambor to go easy on you, but I would need something from you for it. Anything. Why well, everything that Walred paid you. Here it is. 100 coins. Plus 50 dynasty reputation. Okay, let's go back to collecting these, um, these deer. These deer figurines are hand-carved by Sambor because he's guilt, he feels guilt over what he did. He made children's toys for all the children he's responsible for killing. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Sound legit? All right. I finished that. So, yeah. So, I was able to use the, the you know, sound cues to find that knucklehead. So, there's somebody over in Tutki, which is way over west of us. Of course, you know, we also have this clay deposit set up here. So, we know where to come get clay. And no, I'm not talking about Bill. Cl Hello, crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Grab these. Shall we leave these here? All right, let's get this done. Took care of your owl. And? Is dead? Nope, he's gone, won't be back. He? do sound mental, but I wasn't really an owl. a man hired pretend to be one. I'm talking about it, it's absurd, believe me, I know. He was supposedly hired by a man called Walrad. Uh-oh, I had to sneeze. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you know him? Ha, it's a son of a bee. Ha, 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 he really got me. So you do. Of course I know him. He was one of us, the undying fist. Was he really? The owl said that he lives in a place called Tootki. Yes, it's not far from here. He lives there with his family selling donkeys. I guess that fits because he was always an ass. I'd love to meet him. And you will because you will deliver a parcel to him for me. I guess there's another knuckle sandwich. No, this time it's a real gift. And what's that? Special surprise. You need to come back later. I need some time to prepare it. Actually, come back tomorrow. I'll make it grander. All right, we've got another plus 20 there. Okay, so no point in us going far. What time is it? So, end of the business day. You know what? We're going to actually trek. Oh, wait. Let's set up our waypoint on the house. Maybe we can go do some wood chopping or something. <clears throat> We're going to go cross country here. As long as we don't run, any, run into any Tatanka. So far, we're down to Tatanka, which is Wiznitz or Buffalo, and deer. I mean, not deer. No, I've ki I think I've killed a moose. I don't think I killed a male. Oh, yeah, I did. I got him square up with a freaking arrow in his big head. Um, so bear and wisnet, those are the only two things I've yet to kill. I mean, humans are already on that list. Really? Crow? Seriously? In your face. 
Yes, I talked about this yesterday. I thought about turning off the blood, but in some cases, if you're hunting an animal and it you hit it, it can leave a blood trail. And you need to be able to follow the blood trail. Or in our case, we had a blood trail to follow to find a human to tell part of the story. Yep, I'm getting that good with the spear. It's too bad these aren't pigeons. I don't think the crows are going to bother these people, although they do make a bunch of noise. I <coughs> hope it wasn't somebody's pet. Oh, Hunting Lodge 2. How you like me now? Remember, anytime you... Uh, Anytime you kill an animal, you have to skin it to get full credit for the for the kill. Just like you have to, when you chop down a tree before you eat your lunch, just like your old papa, you have to. Um, we're gonna gotta get some rocks. Uh, you have to uh, you have to cut the tree up in the logs to get full credit for it towards your um, you know skill set. Eighteen. Nineteen. There's twenty. Cool. We're at the we're at the back side of the village. Hawk, where is it? You know, I'm kind of salty with this. Oh, there's another snowman. Let's get our picture taken with the snowman, shall we? This one's kind of dirty, though. All right, let me turn the um, turn the HUD off. Crud. We can't go back any further. You know what? This is good. Let's do that right there. Control, print screen. Or is this better? That's a janky looking snow. I hate it when, oh man, you know what? We're going to take this one, but um, you know what the deal is there? I hate that. I mean, it's not that I hate it, but it's when you get snow that's not very deep and you're making your snowman and it picks up grass and junk and it makes it icky. It's not like pure snow. Like the other one was like pure snow, I think. It was much nicer. So let's uh, maybe. Hmm. All right, let me see here. Let me do a quick save. All right, this will be MD thumb 12. Mm -hmm -hmm. Save. Okay, cool. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, you're out of the way. Oh, technology. Let's look at technology because we unlocked uh, Hunting Lodge 2, which is super cool. Now we can oh, see now the whole thing is this. And I think we got it actually management. Dynasty reputation 664. Where's our knowledge? No, no. Management map journal skills ah here we are wait is this where we are no inventory well it's not in the inventory duh all right it's somewhere on us oh we're actually pretty light all things considered um i'm looking for wait 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 real quick 2103 we might still catch someone awake in the in the village sell this feathers and stuff too let's see odo ha he's the security chief of deep space nine <laughs> yeah all right after 9 p.m i think we're pretty well done I don't think we're going to catch anybody awake who's um, who we need. Hold on. Wait. Mm, okay. Hold on. Let's see. 
and Gruda. Hi, how are you doing? Let's talk to her. Let's first off, let's put our bow away because that may be rude. Hey, old friend. Hey, old friend. So, what uh, what can I do for you? Oh, she's wandering around looking for someone. Uh, let's do a little romance. Um. All right, there's a 5% uh, affection, plus 5. Don't dream big. I don't dream at all. I'd rather have goals to achieve than desires. Okay. All right, got you. Work is hard. Okay. Let's look at this. There's plus 5. Okay, she's 21. She's our age, too. Now we're at plus 10. Affection. Hey. What do I care? Kings come and go. I'd say I got a little something, but I don't have a little something. Um, oh, there's a plus five. Blue, I guess. Oh, she likes blue. Cool. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day. Well, you know, we did a little flirting. We got a plus 15 with her. So, Odo. Odo's the chief of security at night. Bay's a shapeshifter in his spare time. <laughs> That's funny, A eh, Train. What the hell does that mean? Gotta watch Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I'm just saying. Rene Aubergenois played Security Chief Odo, who's a shapeshifter. Let's uh let's take a quick look at our stinkiness level. Twenty one percent. Yeah, let's de stinkify here. Oh, we don't have to do that here, actually. We can actually do that. Wait, where are we? We have a bathtub for this sort of thing. Needs a uh, heater. But otherwise, it's not too bad. All right. So we've got some sticks starting to appear around the village here, which makes it look a little janky. Plus, we got a fresh rabbit over there to deal with. So let's, uh, let's do the take a bath thing. Now clean this up for tomorrow. The game does drag this out, doesn't it? All right, the tra rabbit trap's going to be toast after its next uh, ca catch. All right, so now let's see. First off, let's wait. Nope, there we go. We got fire going. Cool. Uh, let's see. Feathers. Oh, we have Mr. Feather. We transfer that. We transfer the fur. We got some meat, we can cook that. Stones, we can run those up to st strange deer figurines. Let's put those away. And the wine bottle we can sell. We'll keep those on us because we got to swing back by the village in the morning after Knucklehead wakes up. Uh, so let's, um, let's cook the meat. E, thank you. R, E, F. We'll eat a little something, something here because we're down to about 60% of our uh, food. Okay, cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's uh, get some of our roasted meat. Of course, there's some that's 50%. We need to get ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and get some of that out of our inventory. Keep the meat fresh. All right, let's jog up here. We got a new stack of stones for our rock garden collection. Hello? Whoops, X, E, F. Well, that was not what we wanted. That was not what we wanted either. Tab. Inventory. My fat finger hit something. X, E, F. Thunk. Pretty. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we got that we're carrying we do not need to keep on us right now? Not really. Oh, you know what? Let's go put the roasted meat, the fresh stuff, over here. All right, so this is the fresh stuff here. We'll transfer that. Uh, we'll keep the apples on us. Ooh, they're in 50% condition. Um, let's transfer some of those. 
Okay, cool. All right, now, I don't know, Hunt, a boar or a fox? Oh, we can do that. Oh, hells yeah. Pshaw. Boars and foxes. Are you kidding me right here? Hold on. All right, let me hit the El Tabo. Actually, we'll hit the Mapo. We'll zoom in. We'll see if we can find some boars or foxes. Man, it's too bad it wasn't wolves. <laughs> we came, we saw, we kicked his ass. All right, there's supposed to be boars. There's an abandoned camp. All right, so we're going to cross back across the river. And then head down the path to the fork. And when we get to the fork, actually, you know what? No, we're going to go down the path and then take a left across the bridge. And then uh, abandoned camp in winter. All right, first we're going to go look for the abandoned camp in the winter. Then we're going to cut back over here to the bridge. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so let me turn back over to the game. All right, so there's abandoned camp up here-ish. Let me check my map. Actually, I did pretty good with that. You gotta be careful though, because it's close to Tatanka. And we know Tatanka do not like to be, they don't like humans. It's actually right there. Okay, so that's the abandoned camp. That's where we're gonna go first. Then we're gonna cross this bridge, okay? And then straight in, there's supposed to be boar in here somewhere, right? Uh, and let me take a look and see if there's foxes in the air. Oh, there's possible boar over to the west. Foxes, we may come across. The map may not have been updated either. We'll find some. Somewhere, somehow, some way. There's bunnies, there's boar. Oh, foxes. Oh, they're west along the trail. We may head that way then. Okay. Over towards the stream to the west. And wh where I'm looking is over here. There's boar up in this area and there's foxes down in this area. So, okay. Cope. Road trip. You know what? I have an idea. Wait a minute. I'm on my road. What am I doing? Fool. <laughs> Quick save. I'm running to the river because I'm on the wrong road. I'm on the road I made. There we go. Tally ho target right side 165. Possible threat. Uh, threat level zero. It is a lynx. A pair of them. Kitty cats. Birds get out of the way. The lynx are not a threat as long as you don't shoot them. If you shoot them, then they are a threat. They will come after you sometimes. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll run away. All right. Now we need to recharge our... What the hell is making that sound? That's like weird. Wasn't it? Okay, here's the camp. Oh, shoot, Tatanka. Look to the right. Should we go for the Tatanka kill? We got the Tatanka kill, boys and girls. That is how you do that. Axe up, stand by, possible threat. Analysis, boom, two arrows, one dead buffalo. <sighs> Sorry there, uh, fuzzy. 25 meat, seven leather. Oh, I only got one of my arrows back? The hell you say? Ah, oh, there it is. Wait. Okay, the other Tatanka's on the other side. Hang on, where's my... Nope, don't be jam jumping around. Give me my arrow. Tatanka. Shall we go for a kill? Oh, shit. Grab the hot. He's down, he's down, he's down. Stand down, stand down. Okay. Woo, he got us good. Woo! I jacked his ass up, though, didn't I? Uh-huh. 
That's a couple of good kills right there, boys and girls. Mm. Got my arrows back. Are we good? Nope. I need my... <laughs> Give me my arrow back. There it is. Oh, there's another one over here. There it is. All right. Now, let's heal up. <laughs> What did I just, what did I just use? Okay, there. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Do we have a healing potion or anything? We're only at 70% health. That sucks. All right, let's clear this out. Strange deer figurines, wooden belts, wooden ladle. Okay, wooden bolt. Okay. Beetroot seed. Okay. Clay. Iron horseshoes. Good. Onion seed. Good. Stone. We don't need a stone. There's a uh, iron knife. It's kind of used, but that'll work. There's a bronze axe. We'll take that, too. There's a bag. We'll take that. Galloway steak. There's fur shoes. We'll take those. Hey, 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 hey. Give me my fur shoes. What else we got here? The sack. Copper ore. We are encumbered. I'll tell you what a lot of the weight is that is that uh oh you know what I want hang on hang on hang on hug it, hug it, hug it. can we oh we can't crap I was gonna say can we start a fire here bunnies don't be messing with me steak anything over here Always walk around the perimeter, scanning around in case there's something to see that you don't see. Look inside the tents, always. All right, so the key on the Tatanka, two arrow shots to the head. The first one was not effective. I, hit, I missed his head, and that's why I think it, it took uh, more to kill him. I mean, I got one additional shot off that I think I missed, clearly, because it wasn't stuck in him. And then the second shot was at close range, and I don't think it was effective. So then we went to the axe and gave him a splitting headache, and he said, oh, I'm out of here. Hell with this. And then we put another arrow in him to drop him. Okay, you know what? We... Are encumbered we are going back home and it's going to take us a little bit to get there deer oh there's another wizna over there hope he doesn't I hope you didn't know I killed his buddies they may put a bounty on my ass and that ain't cool. Is there anything? Okay, we're going to use the little shuffle shuffle. So now we know we can kill a wizard. So now the list is down to a bear. That's the only thing we have yet to kill. I'm not that encumbered, but come on, people. This is how you, this is how you build up muscle and stuff. Birds, move along. I mean, how much meat am I carrying? I know I'm carrying a lot. 
10 kilos of meat, three and a half kilos of leather. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bird. I'm telling you. Man, boy, that 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 got interesting quick. Now that camp is only there in winter, according to the map thingy. And the map that I looked at is in the um oh here's another crunch. Yep. Um is in the um uh, R E F. Uh, it's in the comments. There's a link in the comments to that map. So you can see where that winter camp is in relation to our position. It's just down the road a piece and up to the right by the second bridge. Now, uh, this we can put away there. That we can put in the thing. This we can put up there. That will sell. Uh, what do we got in here? Do 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 fur. Transfer that out. Copper ore, that's a lot of weight. Iron ore, that's a lot of weight. Leather, that's a lot of weight. Roasted meat, that's a lot of weight. We're about to go put that away. And steak. Strange deer figurines, which don't weigh anything. Did we put all those in here? Yeah, we did. Okay, hold on. Uh, the wooden ladles need to be transferred. The wine bottles we can sell. Steak. We're going to go put the roasted meat that's 100% away. Onion seed we need to put away. Iron ore, iron, iron horseshoes. Oh my gosh, that's 16 kilos right there. Fur shoes. Oh, those go here. Clay, those will go up in the storage and the axe. Okay, for some reason, I have poison, but I do not have any healing stuff. Mm. Hello? All right, let's ditch some of this weight. Oh, the bag I should... Oh, bags are here. Okay. Axe. Um, beetroot that goes in food, clay goes here, copper ore goes here, horseshoes go here, iron knife can go here, iron ore can go here, uh, the mead bottle we can sell it, onion seed goes with the food, roasted meat goes with the food, the steak. Uh, let's get rid of this wine bottle. Okay, I think that pretty well covers. Yeah, now we're now let's go over and take care of food stuff. Uh, give me steak, take, and then match it up with the other steak. Boom, steak. Although I, I'm not gonna put out a rabbit trap for now. Uh, apples we hold on to. Beer bottles is resource storage. Oh, the seeds are resource storage as well. Oh. Okay, we learned something. All right, we'll run back over there. But this, yeah. That can stay here. The wine bottle. Okay, cool. Wait. Man, we don't have any flowers. Oh, we need some flowers. We need some healing stuff. Mm, uh, we're gonna have to get a healing potion from someone uh okay so over here is the seeds and stuff so let's get this stuff out of here so you f-e-f and you f-e-f you go we're still we're still um going hunting i think all right we're 
back down to our stuffs. Oh, wait, you. Okay, cool. All right. I, I can't tell if we're healing. We have like 75% of our health. I'm not terribly fussed about it. Uh, we need some more of the meat. And we can stop in the river and get some water. All right, so now. We're going boar hunting. Boar and fox. What time is it? Oh, 0400. What's the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. All right, this should take us down to the bridge. And then we'll stop and get a drink. Takes care of that. All right, let's go boring. See that path on the left there? I think that's where we're going to wander up that way. We're looking for foxes and boar, and we're going to use arrows as we need them. Okay, so I see, a, I see rabbits. Rabbits are not what we're here for. We need three of them. So this is walking you through the story to improve your hunting skills. Fox, left side. One. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry. Well, I jacked his ass up, didn't I? That second shot, it's like point blank range. I didn't get a good shot on the first time, though. There it is. That, that arrow should have been stuck in him, but. All right, there's one. Which means there should be, wait, there's something moving over there. Is that a rabbit or a fox? I think it's a rabbit. There's a bird. I know. I would rather hunt the ugly boars. I'm just wondering if I hunt them already. Oh, hey, look what just dropped. Oh, there's a fox. Come on. Sorry. I know they're cute. What the hell? Look at this badger. Ooh. Is that the badger making noise? Thank you for bringing my arrows back to me. Appreciate you. Yeah, bunnies, you guys are in luck. I'm not after you today. Of course, I could just set a trap and that takes care of you. That's easy. Y'all are easy prey. I'm not here for y'all. You're running the wrong way. Okay, in fact, here, look, it says auto save. <laughs> let's quick save. And then let's tab. Let's check our inventory. Yeah, no, we're still at 70. We're good. And then we got to construct a hunting lodge. There's a moose. And 
Now remember, I turned up the brightness so it'd be easier for you guys to see. So normally it wouldn't be this bright, but now it's 0604. And we must be in a lower latitude because the sun's already coming up. All right. We need one more fox or a boar. There's a deer. We don't need a deer. Deer are easy. Wait, what's that? Is that a deer? Oh, that's a buck there. There's a bunny. Don't want to hurt the funny bunny. Could get the buck. Okay. Want to see how you hunt a buck? I'm going to show you. We're stay at range. shoot i think he heard us or he just started he just wa he's walking so he didn't hear us all right a rear quarter shot is not what you want what you want to do is flank him there's a buck right here or get him head on like this And that's how you do that. That's how you get them. Just like that. That is how you hunt deer. Shot to the face or the neck. And it's easier to do from a from the side. Anything basically except the Tatanka because they're freaking hard headed behemoths. And I, I'm saying buffalo in case you don't know what Tatanka is. That's that's Indian for buffalo. Watch Dances with Wolves. There's lynx up here. We don't want the lynx. There's deer and there's a badger. We don't need no stinking badgers. We're not doing jump around at Camp Randall Stadium either. Hawk. The Stringfellow Hawk or is the Sinjin Hawk? If you get that reference, you also may be a child of the 80s. <coughs> Excuse me. Get some. A sip of high quality H2O. All right. Oh, you know what? Hell with this. Oh, man. I may have hunted those guys already, though. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's the lynx. Okay, the lynx is going to go run, kitty. I'm not here. I'm not. I'm not after you. I ain't messing with you. I don't want to hunt the kitty. The kitty. What's there? there's another kitty. I mean, we could hunt the kitty, but that's not nice. The kitties are cute. Yeah, see that one looking at me kind of funny right there. Nope, it must have seen. It must have seen me. Nope, missed it. All right, uh, let's run back to the, dang it, just get out of my way. Move aside, let the man come through, let the man come through, move aside, and let the man, that's a pig, that's what we're looking for, hi, in your face. Thank you for giving away your position, dummy. 
You must be an Arkansas Razorback. Ha! <laughs> Roll Tide. Always look around for the friends. Boom. Well, now we gotta go construct a hunting lodge. All right, did I, did I got any arrows around? Nope. Cool. All right, we out. That takes care of that mission. Kitty cat, just move. All right. Uh, let's reset our map indicator to home. Oh, it is home. Sweet. All right. Problem is we got to pick a bridge to go across. Oh, there's the path. Cool. All right. That was easy. That was a productive way to spend the night. Move birds. Move. I told you move. All right. Let's do this. Tab inventory. Roasted meat. Again, we want to consume this before it goes bad. So just chuck it down. Walk across in the water. I know it's cold. We're 15% dirty. But we got a bathtub. We can take a bath. Need to get that thing heated and turn it into a spa. How are you going to turn it into a spa? Eh? Train, you don't have any air pumps. I could fart in it and make bubbles. G.I. Joe in the water. Bloop. And if you get that reference, you are an Eddie Murphy fan from the 80s. Now, we need to head up to the village. We're going to roast all the meat we got. Check this out. Warm it up, Chris. All right. Um, what do we got here? Transfer that. Transfer that. We're going to cook that. We're going to go sell it. And all right. Let's get some junk here. We can. Oh, it's all up in the thing. Okay. All right. So we'll go get that in a second. So we're going to craft by selling some. Hello? REF. That'll roast all of our meat. And because we have the lower quality meat that's at 50% on us, it'll be in two separate categories. So we can sell this meat and it'll be all good. All right. Now. Weight-wise, we'll, we'll get rid of that. So roasted meat should weigh less because you've effectively cooked the water out of it. Yeah, see? It weighs 12 kilos, but we're going to sell that in a minute. So, All right, let's go up here and grab some crap to go sell. Hello? Uh, we'll hold on to that bronze axe, copper ore. You know what? We better hold on to the ore. Iron hammer, that's our backup. The horseshoes, no, there's conveniently four of them. We'll hold on to that. Hold on to that. Mead bottle, we don't need. Uh, wine bottles, we don't need. Whoops. Uh, wooden hammer, we'll hold on to. Actually, we don't need to hold on to the wooden hammer. Wooden hoe, I don't think we have to hold on to either because I think I bought an iron Did I buy an iron hoe oh that must have been my other playthrough uh grab the stone axes you and you and the wood shovel you okay is that all the crap we need go sell we're gonna keep the bags we're gonna keep the clay keep, keep the spears uh arrows knife shovel sickle Keeping the long bow, that's our number two bow. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, and then we gotta come back and build the hunting lodge. Or, or we could build the hunting, you know what, let's, uh, let's actually, what's our loadout here? We don't have an iron ham, oh, we have the wood hammer. Well, let's just equip it. That'll help us figure this out. All right, so over here, 
Um, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can build a hunting lodge too. And we build a fishing hut too. It's not like a it's not a pizza hut. Hello? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I like that. It likes that. Okay, all right, cool, cool, come on, come on, come on with your bad self, let's go, there you go, son, that's where we'll place that, okay, switch over to the hammer, and what do we need, we need some stones, we got some of that, we need some stones, and we got logs over yonder, let's get this pile right here, that's only 12, we need 8 of them, and then we'll build this right chaw. Okay. No extraneous hitting. Okay. I made this point on a dude, his channel, he's got like a bazillion viewers and stuff, like 40, 50,000 views of his videos. All right. He was building something and he just kept hacking away. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? He cut down a tree. He's not a good lumberjack because he wasn't singing the lumberjack song. That's issue number one. Issue number two was he kept hacking away at the tree even as it was falling. Okay? And that ain't smart. Okay? Why is that not smart, A Train? Because your tool continues to take damage. I mean, like get used. And all right, we're just barely encumbered here. All right. So as long as you whack at something with the tool, with a hammer, with a pickaxe, with the you know whatever, it the tool is being it get now. If you look in the bottom right, see that little white bar around the hammer? That's the percentage of it left. All right, crafting. All right, now watch. If I hit this thing again, watch that red white bar. It's going down still. It doesn't care. All it cares about is you're hitting something with that hammer, and that ain't cool. Not enough resources. This is going to take a whole bunch of logs. All right. So don't jack up your tools. And we're going to need to save one log. Um, so we've unlocked uh, crafting, another level of crafting, which is cool. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay, you see what I'm saying? All right, because all you're going to do is tear your tools up quicker. Now that applies to hammers, uh, axes, and pickaxes. Okay, so any of your tools that require, you know, impact against something, you will jack them up if you just keep pounding away at things. So don't do that. Oh, look. Okay, well, this is looking cool. All right, so we need four, eight, uh, 13, 15 more logs. 16, 17, 18, 19 logs, and then we need some planks. So we need 19 logs. How much? We got steak. Why do we have 100 steak stick sitting out here? Where the hell did those come from? Let's drop them over here where they go. In the steak pile. All right. So we're going to need planks, which the planks are right there. We don't have very many of them, but we'll make more. Um, quick check. Hello? All right. It's 12.08. Let's, uh, let's look at our skills. All right. So crafting. Let's see what we got here. Builder. Okay. This slows the durability loss of hammers. Mm -hmm. uh, builder trance, which is faster building. Building masters, less stamina consumption during building. 
We can't do level four yet, though. We got to do a level three first, which is crafting expert using workshop and the smithy, sewing in the kitchen. Um, or we could put another point in builder. We got a lot of building to do. Oh, you know what? We may have two points. Oh, it says we only got one point. Um, I want to unlock that. Faster building, maybe? Crafting expert sounds good. But maxing out builder sounds really good, too. Because then our, our, our tools will last longer. Oh, you know what? I have an app for this. What is that? Oh, uh, no, we're good. That's it. That's all our points. Uh, we have an app for this. It's called an iron hammer. How do I not have two of these? Did I manage to like drop one somewhere like a doofus or something? I need to go sell this crap too. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. I can sell those wooden bolts too. I don't have a crossbow. If I'm if I'm going to buy a crossbow, they cost a thousand. Then I'm gonna, you can darn well believe I'm buying iron bolts too because they are just man that 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 puts some pain into something when you hit it. It's like 65 points. Okay, who are we talking to here? Who are you? Who are you? Ida. Hope she's not a woman of the night. That'd make her Idaho. Bernadetta. Nope. Ka Rock the Casbah. Casimira. Casimirez. All right. We know her. Berard. Who are you? Ludwig. Okay, hang on. There's Odo, the chief of security, who apparently was up on the... Oh, hello, Miss Chicken Person. Inga. Hello, Inga. Let's talk Come to in. Inga. Oh, she's my age. How about that? Biscuits in the valley. How are they now? Well, here. I'm going to sell you some stuff. There's a deer skull. And here's some mead bottle. Have you some of that. Oh, here's a bunch of meat. That's 150 coins worth. Have you a stone axe and another stone axe? Sure. Oh, look, there's a wine bottle, too. Got two of those. Have you some of that? 60 coins. Thank you. Uh, have you some of them bolts? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to sell you my wooden hammer. Then That wasn't worth much. Sell you my wooden shovel, too. Clean out my inventory. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that I think that'll do. She's got food. Uh, she does not have much food. She's got animal feed and manure. Ah, this is good. We have a dealer right next door that's got manure because you know what manure makes? Stinky. Makes things stink. Oh, she got feathers. We could sell our feathers too. We got a whole bunch of those. Um you can convert manure into fertilizer somehow. I'm not quite sure though. Have a good day. Thanks you too. Excuse me, chickens. Eat more chicken. Uh, all right. So hold up a second. Let's um, let's hit the map here. We need to go talk to Knucklehead again. But we need some. We need a uh, potion. We're hungry, so let's eat some more of our roasted meat before it goes bad. Okay, that got that maxed out. Good. Um, What do we need here? Oh, we need to re-equip. Uh, all right, so iron hammer goes in slot five. All right, so we got iron axe, got our bow, got a steak, got fishing spears, we got an iron knife, we got all of our equipment. Okay, I think we're set. We just need to go get um, healing potions. All right, so hold up. Let me check my notebook. Notebook check. Drag it out. I have my handy dandy notebook. Uh, vendors, Gustovia. Nobody seems to have. Hmm.
I, somebody in Gustovia has got to have medicine, right? They've got to, right? Right? Don't don't they have to? So let's run over to Gustovia and then we'll go see Knucklehead because I, I want to get this healing thing taken care of. So what's the moral of this story, folks? You cannot have enough of those plantain things. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Helga and Ida and... A newcomer. Oh. Hello there. Oh, she's married. See you soon. Nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she's not. Yeah, you can't romance the women just standing around. You got to romance the girls at the uh, at the uh, campfire. Oops, my bad. <clears throat> All right. So we've got three things we want to do, air quotes, today. Three things we want to do, and that is... Um, We're at 3% stinkiness, so that's not bad. Okay, that's fine. No, go. All right, we want to find some medicine. This is why you gather all them, all the plantains and the daisies and the dandelions that you can and stockpile them because they're buried under the snow now and we're stuck going to buy potions. Who are you? Gundolf. All right, she's, we got, we got, Credits with her. All right, let's see if our girl Doby has anything to help us out. Hi, Doby. Hello. How you doing? Whatever you need, I've got it. Well, let's see about that. Uh, we got berries. That doesn't do me any good. Pears, water skin. No, you really don't. Hmm. See you soon. Yep, that's what you say. All right, let's go check with who are you? You're not someone I want to talk to at the moment. Hello, kid move you're not someone i want to talk to at the moment it's pardon me yeah whatever blockhead you i asked you to move edwin may have food related stuff rudolphina uh edwin hey welcome stranger what you got My wares never disappoint <clears throat> he has more stuff so he's got seeds and stuff is this someone who's on my list i may not have him on the list you're not on the list you don't get to come in Gustovia, he is not on the list. Let's add him to the list. Uh, in Gustovia, we have Edwin. Who has um, food and seeds. That's good to know. And he's got simple tools, too. So he's got bags, which we can make bags. We got leather. He's got manure, which you can make into fertilizer. He's got fertilizer. Booyah. That's for the fields right there, boys and girls. All right. So we got, we got a uh, flaxseed. So we got vendors on that. That's good. So we can get all of our seed needs here. Here's our, this is our feed and seed guy. That's what he is. And he's our, he's in basic tools. So he's our feed. Edwin is feed and seed. All right. That's good. Good to know. Uh, all right, Edwin. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Go back to whipping at your stuff there. Look out, kids. Where are you going? Uh, Okay, there's, what's his face? Nope, we're not talking to her. We're, we want to talk to Adelina. How are you? All right, good. So Whatever up? you need, I've got it. Uh, maybe. I doubt it for some reason. Wait. Oh, soup. Soup is good for you. Let's buy mushroom soup. 45 coins. Ah. Honeycomb, fruit tarts, meals, hops. 
Does anything have healing properties? That's the question. Do 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 plus food plus food and water poppy. That's a crop. Whoa, pottage. Huh. Quark. Type of cheese. Okay. Soups and stews uh, give you food and water. Yeah, no. Thank Have you. You too. I don't think this person has anything. Nope. Norberta is not who we need to talk to. Neither is this guy, but we're going to check anyway. So, Vermeer. Best goods in the valley. Yep. Nope. Okay. Now, see how he, he, has, he has a quest for us, but we ain't messing with that. I ain't messing with Chu. Who are you? Igor. Uh, okay. Nuts. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, instead of S say poo, like bull poo, poo head, and this poo is cold. We are going to joggy jog. We got to go see Knucklehead. He's probably going to send us somewhere else. So we gotta go back to Sambor. And so we're tracking the yellow exclamation point up in the compass here. We know we know where Sambor is. Hmm. Well, that was disappointing that nobody up here has any medicine. I know the other. Hi. Yeah, that town's kind of useless. You know what? We're going cross country. Heck with this. White tailed eagle. Got him. Sorry, bud. Tatanka, right side. Wonder if word's gotten around that I off two of their buddies. Because right now they could smack me in the head and I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this a camp? That's a deer. Wait a minute, where are we? This is a different camp. Hello, nurse. Hand to hand. I didn't know this was here. Well, how about that? That's what happens when you go cross country sometimes. You find things. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Come on, give me some. Oh, that does not do me any good. Dumped loot. No, oh, that doesn't do me any good either. Steak. Come on, I could use a freaking healing potion here, people. Well, apples work too. Stupid, simple torch. 
Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The bronze arrows. Fancy. There's another one right there. There it is. Okay. There's a kniffle too. All right, we're burning daylight here, people. Let's go finish this search. We gotta be faster, we gotta be more efficient here. Anything going on? There's a cup. Sticks and stones and all right, so that's an abandoned camp that we did not show on the map. Let me see here. Oh, actually, it is on the map. It's a hunting camp. Well, by gosh and by golly, we found it. Foxes, wolves, we've already taken them out. All right, so now we're heading back over to uh, the Sambor. Back to range, and let's... Whoa, 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 142 meters. Let me remember which way we're tracking here. All right, Blockhead, what's the next part of this getaway? See in here? It's a hunting cabin. What is it now? Is the parcel ready? Well, nice and warm, right? Okay. No, did you? Pretty sure that. Here it is. Mysterious parcel. Go to Tootki and give it to Walrad himself, as you wish. Okay. So now, we're going to Tootki, which puts us on the road through Baranica, Branica, and Tootki. Uh, it's 1703, so we're going to have to haul butt. And hopefully, uh, we can get there while some of the vendors are still awake. Now, there's piggies over there to the right. Stay on mission. Links ahead. Let's get out of the datum area here. Hopefully this is going to take us into town. Fox and a boar. The boar is the threat. I ain't messing with you. I want to get into, get through these first two towns. Gosh, keep running. Go, 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 go. I want to find someone who we can get potions from. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Be welcome, stranger. Best goods in the valley. Oh, he's got things we can. Oh, thank God. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> see all these dandelions you got here? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> you don't have them anymore. I'm buying those. And I'm buying your daisies. And I'll buy some of them broadleaf plantains while we add it too. Thank you. <laughs> Phew. Okay. Let's see if he's got any potion. Oh, potions of healing. These aren't cheap, but that's okay. I got money. Potion of instant healing. Oh, this is plus 20 health. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 60 seconds effect duration. Restores a certain amount of health over time. Okay, so this is... Um, okay, here you go. All right, so you got to read the... Uh, this is going to give you 90 health over the course of 60 seconds. So it's plus 1.5 uh, second uh, health per second. All right. So by my math, public school 1980 math, that means you're going to get 90 health over 60 seconds. Okay. That sounds like something that might be useful. Let's just buy one. Boom. Potion of Healing 2 has a 90 second effect duration and gives you plus two health per second, which means that will give you 180 health. I don't know that unless you get like a potion of make me like double <laughs> uh, good. What is this? Satiate. Oh, okay. So that's satiated. Potion of saturation. Less water consumption. Sobriety. Stamina. Stamina is always good. Oh, hey. You know something? Give me like. Yeah. Give me six of those. Yeah. Yeah. Strength. Um, oh, you do 50% more damage. I'm not too worried about that. Potion of weight. That's that's good, I suppose. 240 second effect duration. Now, that's 240 seconds in real life. Plus 20 kilogram weight limit. Uh, let's buy a couple of those. Sure. Temperature, we're not worried about. Stamina, strength, sobriety. Instant healing, too. This is plus 50 health for 75 coins. All right, F. And let's get us three of those. Sure. Okay, cool. That addresses... Bless you. See you soon. Yeah, thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Okay, so that... Um, let's get in here. Let's fix our health issue. Are we can do it the cheap way, or we can do it with the... Um, potions okay first thing we're going to do is with the dandelion all right now why that a train because it gives you uh 15 percent less stamina consumption for 40 seconds so when we take off running that means uh we won't have to we'll have 40 seconds of uh less stamina consumption now the daisies uh Reduce your water consumption. It's not a big deal. And that's only plus two health. All right. But if we go ahead and eat one of those, that's plus five health. So we're at 75, 110. So by my math, that's 35 health we need to make up. These would be plus two each. And that would take 17 of the 19. That's a lot. So let's see what we got here. Potion of healing one. And that will restore bunch this will restore more that fixes us okay hit it back on the road see the clocks ticking down the bottom left actually we're gonna go overland here try to cut the distance down a little bit Although there may be carts or something we may miss. All right, so that was Baranica. Yeah. Okay, our buffs just wore off. No man, I'll have to come back for that. Now, is there anything we need clothing wise? I don't think there is. I 
I think we're all set clothing wise. So we want to get the tooth key here before it gets too late because, yeah, it's it's getting late. Punch it. Overland. Well, we've already checked this, but let's just check it just in case. Nope, nothing good. Go. Uh, possible wolves up on the right. Tukey's right up here around this bend. You can see the village on the right side there. All right, we're looking for someone. Uh, who are we looking for? Walrad. Come on, keep moving. Jump. Hello. Hi. Where's Walrad? Anybody see Walrad? You're not Walrad. Neither are you. Nor are you. Where the hell is Walrad? Hello. You're not Walrad. Oh, here's the donkeys. Okay, so that's 1928. Okay, these fools better not have gone to bed yet. I'm going to wait. Is this him? Nope, that's Unold. Ah, oh, that's you. Hi. I'll be damned. It's actually Rossi. Never mind. How do you know my name? It was probably the other dark blah, blah, blah. You must be Rossimir. Actually, Rossi. Knew your uncle, Jordan. Besides, I've always been good with names. Renegast. What are you doing? <laughs> so he just called us the wrong. I've been good with names. I just called me called the wrong name. Swell. I would never think to see you. Sambor sent me. He asked me to deal with this parcel. I would throw that away immediately if I were you. What? Why? I'll take him from a guy for over 20 years. And I can smell that parcel from over here. It contains his feces. Gross. The heck is wrong with him? Ha, ha, ha. Well, he couldn't fool a master prankster, but he sure pulled a number on you. A number two. Ha, 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 ha. I guess that's kind of funny. No practical jokes. This sack of muscles from us a, a decade. If you've only seen some of the best work, good memories. Yeah, I bet. Not the only thing. Of course not. Blah, blah, blah. Amazing. Blah, 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 blah. We had to be very careful to share our business. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that was before. That had been weird for Eordan when he became Kestelen. All this attention. My uncle was him. Yes, was him. Unigos took over that position after he died. You Didn't you know that? No, he didn't mention it. Must have slipped his mind. Good thing I found them. Uh, I love the blah. Menacing phantoms. That was the name of the pack. <laughs> they ain't got they got different names. Everyone's got a different name for the pack. Oh. Uh okay, so this guy needs our help with a pack of wolves. Oh my, seems serious. I need to build a palisade. I right, have a plan for it. it. Won't be as much of a palisade, but a wooden maze around Tootkey. That way, the wolves will get lost, confused, and less likely to attack. Well, that doesn't sound right. I need some logs. That's where I need your help. Uh, how many logs do you need? A thousand will do. Uh, Rampart, which of course gets our name wrong again. There's no time to waste. End dialogue. So that's plus ten. Bring 1,000 logs. What? Are you serious right here? Oh, my gosh. Hang on. This sounds like garbage to me. 1,000 logs. So it appears that it was all a practical joke. Sambor really looked furious and tired because of the owl. Then suddenly burst into laughter. Wallhead person must be really special. Blah, 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 blah. So am I. Blah, blah, blah. A thousand logs can't be serious. Is that even possible? Cutting all those trees itself would take ages. I managed to deliver it all to him. So this is a test. Okay. So there's a test to it.
Yeah, crank pranking me. The wolves. No, yeah, you got me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> There's something I'd like your help. Actually, I need you to kill my cow. Right. Is a sentence for treason? Probably collaborate with those wolves, right? You can't be serious. I'm afraid this time it's not a joke. We've bought this cow. We bought this cow a few years back. Her name is Mar Marila. She stopped giving milk a while ago. My wife insists that we butcher her because soon the meat will become inedible. But I, I just can't. Feels like she's part of our family now. Kids grew up long. Blah 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 blah. blah. <sighs> will you put her down? I just do it out of my sight. No problem. All right, let's go. Where's the cow? Where's the moo cow? He wants me to kill the moo cow. Oh, there's the cow. Sorry, Marla. Okay, that's done. I had to kill the moo cow. All right, job's done. Oh, great. Unigoss story. Talk to Amanda. Who's Am oh, hey, Amanda? Hello. Maybe Uncle Walred, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Maria. Oh, yes. Big baby. Oh, okay. I, I, I bet, I bet. I, I took care of it. Ah, oh, crap on a stick. Are you serious? Oh. What the hell was that? Is that the donkey? Oh my gosh. Guys, seriously. Okay. So here's the deal. I think we're at a good stopping spot for now. So actually, hold on. Let me hit that. Hit this. And we're going to save the game here at two roads B. Yeah. And back out of that. And hit it. Okay. Bring 1,000 logs. That's dumb. Talk to Walrad. So we got to deal with the cow situation. We did that, and we got to talk to Walrad. So uh, it's like, what, middle of the night now? What time is it? 22.20. We could fart around over here. Probably go do some searching. I may go do that. Kill some time. In the morning when Knucklehead wakes up, we will um, talk to him. Maybe sell some of the stuff we need to get rid of. Uh, we need to get rid of some more uh, meat here. Well, that mushroom soup seems pretty good. Uh, roasted meat, yes. See, that's down to 50%. Uh, so we're going to eat some of that. And then we can eat an apple. So we're going to eat one of the ones that are at 50%. There, right, get those out of the way. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so, yeah. Um... And that's all I'm going to do uh, for now. What I'm probably going to do is kill some time offline so you guys don't have to sit around and watch while I run around and whatever the hell I do here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from Render Cube Games and Toplets Productions. Make sure to go check that out. Link in the description below. Also, there's links to our Discord. Make sure to kick on over there and join that. And uh, your donations are greatly welcome and appreciated. PayPal.me slash games. There's a link there as well. But make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you being here and being part of the uh, show. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it.
and uh, make sure to turn that bell icon on so you know when we go live or upload a video. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.